everyone and welcome back again to my channel so it's me again carol so for today's video i'll be showing with you on how to customize your macbook using the big sur software so if you're new in this channel i welcome you my name is carol so in this channel we do beauty blogs and lifestyle and if any of those interest you please consider subscribing and i'll be so happy to be part of my family and without any further ado let's get into the video so guys in this video we are going to tackle different aspects in macbook so first of all we're going to do the wallpaper second is the widget app and then the third one will be your fonts the fourth one will be your customizing safari and then the next one are just your add-ons will be the sticky notes hat corners analog clock screen saver changing folder icons accent colors video let's start with the wallpaper itself so i got my wallpaper from pinterest and i really really love this one you guys it's very pastel it's very aesthetic everything that i want in one picture is right here so if you want to change your background you're gonna have to go to pinterest and then if you want aesthetic uh wallpaper type in aesthetic wallpaper and then it will show you and let's put a macbook because it's very important that you write a macbook so that it will fit perfectly on your screen so okay so let's say i want this picture here so i'll do the right click save to downloads and then we're going to downloads uh folders and then look for it so and then i'm gonna right click and then look for set desktop picture i'm gonna click that and then it will give us this photo so you have to find uh, a perfect size for your macbook so now let's move on to the widget app right side where the dates and time are so you will have these uh widgets uh, widgets up here so what i usually do what i did was very basic so i just put the world clock i put the weather because that's i always search for on the safari so i always search for those kinds so you can do your calendar you can do clock and you can do notes as well if you have some to-do list and then you can do photos if you have photos but for me i don't store my photos in my macbook i always store it in my iphone so here's and then screen time stocks and weather that's the basic stuff that i found here on the big store so that's very basic i do have a world clock and the weather so that's it for the widget app font the IG fonts so make sure you just uh, it's better if you search the app first so you get the right one so on the first one it's IG fonts that I O so there so let's say you want to put um documents so you just have to type in documents and then enter and then on the bottom side you will see all the different types of fonts so um, um, um a lot of choices you guys here so what i'm gonna do is let's say i want this space um documents so oh, let's do this cursive so i'm gonna press cop right click and copy and then now I'm going to my documents and then right click select and right click and then go to rename and then just paste that and that's your customized fonts and it's so beautiful you guys so there and if we want to do the same thing on the other you just have to type in let's say YouTube music so yeah just find the same one so then press copy 
and then rename and then paste so if you want to know the shortcut for copy it's command c and per paste that will be command v so that's easy way to do it and then yeah so that's customizing your font so i ended up changing the wallpaper so that i can show you clearly on how to customize everything so we did already the fonts and now let's move on to the folder icons so it's really cool that you guys can customize your own icons so let's say you created a new folder so when you create it on the first time you always see this blue folder here but now I think it's been a while but I never discovered this one before you can customize your folder using this personalized icon so if you want to do that you have to go to Pinterest of course so let's try to search uh, let's say aesthetic aesthetic icon and write PNG so that it's gonna be transparent so I want to do let's say I want to do a lot of good stuff here let's say Let's say I want to do this cute, this guy here. So I want to do this. So I'm going to search, I'm going to do a right click and then save to downloads. And then when it's saved to downloads, I'm going back to my downloads and click it. And it will open this new window. What you have to do is to drag it all the way until you cover everything until you selected the whole picture and then leave it and then command c for copy and then let's go back to desktop so so guys you have to select the folder that you want to customize the icon so let's say this guy here and i'll do the right click and get info and then you see this uh, folder, the blue folder on the left side. You have to click. Make sure you just click it and then command V for paste. And there you have it. There, uh, that's going to be your customized folder. So now the same as when you change your font. So let's do... new folder so let's copy that and then go back to and then rename and then paste so that's your customized folder so guys let's move on and customizing my safari I'm going to do the new tab as you can see here there is a background and then you can customize the start page as well by clicking this uh bottom here on the right you have to press that and as you can see safari will give you a lot of choices to choose from so but i find them so basic and it's not placing in my eye so i what i did is i downloaded an aesthetic uh wallpaper from pinterest so let's go to that setting and then plus and then desktop i think i put it on my downloads and then i pick it up this basic uh nude color so there you have it and then on that menu as well you can do frequently visited you can do a privacy report and you can do some uh, series suggestions your reading list and your iCloud cloud uh, iCloud tabs if you have one if you're connected to iClouds so that's the basic here 
Now let's move on on my sticky notes on my desktop. So I really love this one, you guys. I really in love on how this one looks so so good. So let's start with my calendar. So search on the menu bar and then type sticky stickies. So there it will pop up a new one and you can change the color. You can do blue you can do green, you can pink, purple, or gray, but I prefer the gray one, so it's very basic. So to create this calendar here, what I did was search for um, November 2020 calendar. And then let's say this one here i want to use this one so right click save to downloads and then when you go to downloads so go finder and look for the image okay so this one so it will open up a new folder a new tab and now you you're going to do the same as that so select all and then command c for copy and then go to desktop and then paste it only thing i don't like about this guy here is that um it really occupies your um your whole if you're really into like looking to calendars you have um a specific target every week this is a good idea so that's your customize you can put it here on the side just like that and then you can add another sticky notes if you want to do the to-do list so let's say so let's say i want uh my to-do list on the desktop so that i don't forget anything so let's do so new note and then just change your color let's say i want the gray one and then if you want to change the font you can do as well but let's say november 19 and then by changing the font you have to go to fonts and then show fonts and then it will give you a lot of choices so yeah so let's do that and then on the same setting you can do it bigger so command and then plus it will make it bigger there and then if you want to change the color you can change the color as well so let's do the red one and so that's how you created your stickies so let's move on to the hot corners so hot corners is the sides four sides on the screen so let's say i go to the left side it will do the slip uh slip motion so there it that's my screen that's gonna be my lock screen to do the hot corners you're going to do go to settings preference system preferences and then go to desktop and screen saver and then go to the screen saver and then press the hot corner so it will give you four different options to choose from so when i when you move your mouse or drag your mouse top left it will start to screen saver disable screen saver mission control application windows desktop notification center so the same thing if you drag your mouse to the top right it will give you option okay since we're here already on the settings on the desktop and screen saver i'll show you guys on how to do this classic um analog clock and i so to do that you go to your browser and then search for flick flicklo and then there you're going to download search for flick glow and then there so it will give you different uh if it will give you um downloads so one 
for Mac for Mac and one for Windows. So just hit the download and then you will show that here. So double click that and then wait it to load. I drag that to that space and then find the flick low and it will show up on the screen and then you can start your screensaver after one minute two minutes but I go for five minutes because five minutes is five minutes and then there you have it and now guys let's move on to the accent color the accent color will be this uh, blue one that you see Okay, that's there so what you have to do is to go to settings general so in general you can do pretty much the basic one so accent color let's say you want the blue you want pink so let's do the pink one let's go for the highlight highlight is once you want to copy so as you can see that's pink so because of this so you can pretty much customize the color that you wanted so i want this pastel pink to be the highlight color so that's gonna be the highlight color okay so in your appearance as well you can change your light dark or auto but i love light because it's just so nice in my eyes i guess I also want to share with you guys one thing that changed from the big sort uh, software which is the menu bar here you can customize everything we can see here uh, you can see this uh, beside that clock you can choose with Wi-Fi or you can adjust your display as much as you wanted and even the sound you can adjust here and then only thing as well is the battery you can see the battery percentage and then everything that you can see on the menu bar you can customize by going to settings and then menu bar dock and menu bar so that's you can pretty much see so let's say i don't want siri to be part of my menu bar so and um, check that and it will gone for that menu bar so okay you guys that's conclude our video for today i hope you learned something in this video if you do please give this video a like share and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next video bye thank you for watching